It stands on what was the German front line, the Ulster Tower, a memorial to the men of the 36th Ulster Division. Their charge from Thiepful Wood on the 1st of July 1916 earned them heroic status. Back home in Northern Ireland, Carol Walker is director of the Somme Museum. Her own great-grandfather served in the battle. He went through every single battle that the Ulster Division did, that be the Somme. He went over the top on the 1st of July 1916. He was at Messines with the 16th Irish Division. He was through all the major battles and then sadly he actually two weeks before the end of the war was liberating uh, villages up in Belgium and he was muster gassed and he um, died. Both here and in France, you can experience life on the front line. A serving soldier has helped to recreate the trenches. It's very hard to get away from the fact that uh, soldiers fought, uh, uh, died uh, and were wounded uh, in the exact same location that we are now working uh, 100 years uh, later. Uh, and to bring that uh, to life with the reconstruction of the trenches is uh, a great honour. Four members of the 36th Ulster Division won the Victoria Cross. Five and a half thousand men were killed, injured or declared missing. The sheer loss of life on the battlefield in France had changed the course of Ireland's history. For Unionists back home would never allow Britain to forget that thousands of sons of Ulster had fought and died for their king and country. They demanded the British acknowledge the sacrifice. Cue the end of the Home Rule crisis. Cue the creation of Northern Ireland. In the words of King George V, the men of Ulster have proved how nobly they fight and die. David Blevins, Sky News, at Thiepville, Northern France.